Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Uh, this is your Excel Guru today with a new formula called DMAX. I'm so sorry, it's uh, saying D product, uh, DMAX. So this is how it is, DMAX. Uh, what does this formula do? Uh, DMAX, let's see what does Excel have to say about it. Why should I say everything? Uh, DMAX returns the largest numbers in the f number in the field column, that is this. Uh, of records in the database that match the conditions you specify in simplest terms it will give you the highest number in a column based on a condition or a set of conditions given by you how we can do this this is how we can do this is equal to d max bracket open database so this is our database in the database ensure that none of the rows or none of the columns are completely empty then comma field then we have to in uh, formulas like dmax, d product, dmin. You have to ensure that when you are referring to field, you are referring to a header. So I'm referring to the header height, and my criteria is, and also you have to ensure that in such formulas, uh, you have to s specifically mention the headers of your conditions and the conditions below them. So these are the headers for my conditions. And these are the conditions below. My condition is the name of the tree should be apple and the height should be greater than two. Only then it should give me the highest value in this column. So I press enter and here it is. It is 18. See, greater than two and name of tree should be apple and this is 18. So that was Dmax for you. There is another way of doing this formula. How you click on formula, click on insert function and you go to dmax see automatically it's, it's given me that i believe we had clicked on the other wrong cell we go to formula we go to insert function we type dmax and click on go all these formulas if you see dmax dmin d count d counter d get d average d product uh up till d product i've covered everything these are statistical formulas. I don't think so. I'll be covering them very soon. D sum I've covered. So I believe I've covered almost everything with D. Yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. So D max, click on it. Click on OK. <laughs> and this says to choose your database. So this is your database. I'm uh, pressing the shift key and using the arrow keys to select this data. And I do a tab and I go to the next field field. So I'm using the field name height. And then I go to criteria. I select the criteria over here and then I click on OK. So this gives you the result. So this was the DMAX formula for you. The Excel file shown in the video is available for free download. I mean free, no email IDs required, no nothing. On my website, uh, excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. All you need to do is go to this website, click on training files and download the training file for free. I am doing this only to spread knowledge. I don't want to earn money out of it that's not my aim yes one thing I would like you to do is if you believe that what I'm doing uh, is right and you would like to become a participant in my activity uh, in my endeavor and my process in my project to uh, of sharing knowledge then I would like you to go ahead and follow me on Twitter click over here follow me on Twitter and share the word that I will also like you to go ahead and if you happen to have a Facebook account then go click over here go to my Facebook account like us over here and share my content share it with friends also you may choose to go to YouTube where you are watching this video subscribe to my YouTube videos and then share my content so this is what I would like you to do let's spread knowledge so this was your Excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning